Hey you guys, Omni Rider here, back at you with another video. So this video isn't to bash on guys with bad cars, nor is this video about ricers who deck their car out with just about everything, nor is this video about kit cars or body kits, what have you. This video is about the more discreet car guys who are trying to sneak by and pretend to be something they're not, or have something that they don't. The first poser you might encounter is the wannabe track day guy, and his mod of choice is the clip-on tow hook. Many of y'all are very familiar with the tow hook mod or look that's scattered across Instagram. It's stylish and says that you might be a track guy. The tow hook mod doesn't bother me one bit. If you just like the look and want to rock it, go right ahead. My only beef, however, with tow hooks is the fake cheap clip on or stick on ones. Yup, you heard me right. The, they literally sell stick on ones. Let's be real, that's not functional, but granted, you're probably not, I mean, you don't care about functional if you're buying these things at all. And I, I gotta say, these will easily fall off if there's so much as a haboob coming through town. A normal tow hook for many cars would only cost you around, let's say, 20 to 100 bucks maybe? So why bother spending 5 to 10 bucks on a crappy fake one? I normally wouldn't have a problem with fake mods like hood scoops, vents, or even this thing, but... I've already had a guy try to pass it off as the real thing on their, I guess it was a Mercury Tracer? It, it was a it was a wagon, that's all I remember, and it kind of looked like that. So don't be a wannabe track day guy. I know some courses require your car to have a tow hook, but at least make it believable, or if you just like the looks, don't go telling others about your many autocross adventures or track day sessions. All it takes is one experience track day bro that goes every single weekend to call you out on your BS because not once has he seen your car at any of the local courses. Moving on to the second poser that you might encounter, y'all have heard of this one from me before, like uh, twice now, maybe? It's the fake badgers. Their mod of choice is of course decals, emblems, and body kits of the next trim level up. Not too long ago, I came across this article from Auto Trader where real AMG owners are debadging fake AMG cars. Granted, I don't condone vandalizing other people's cars, but I can understand their frustration. Time and time again and again, you guys have almost unanimously agreed with me that nobody likes a faker. Badging your car something it's not isn't inherently harmful to a passerby, sure, but it's dishonest and it has bad intentions written all over it. I mean, how can one justify having a Type R badge on a regular Honda Civic or a Camaro ZL1 badging all across a V6 Camaro? Who are they trying to fool and or impress? I, at least to car guys, it's not convincing any one of us. Again, I like to mention that in my previous video where I told y'all that some 6th gen Camaro V6s can now have a ZL1 front bumper to their car just for the look, that's totally fine. I mean, if you like the look, rock it. Just don't go around telling others that you have a real ZL1 if you're just a V6. Just be happy that you even have a nice car to begin with. The third poser mod that you might encounter is the fake boost noises and gauges. Nowadays, it's pretty difficult to tell whether or not a car has fake boosty boys because just about every goddamn small displacement car is turbocharged. However, back in the day, like 5, 10 years ago or so, many cars didn't come from the factory with boost. Also, remember, that thing from like four to five years ago, the turbo whistle, and how everyone on the internet was messing around with that thing, good times. And do you all remember anyone with fake gauges on their A pillar? Again, if you just like the look of the gauges and or sound of the turbo whistle, then you know, and it makes you happy, more power to you. Like the other mods before, just so long as you don't go around pretending like your car pushes 50 plus PSI, we're good. What do you have done? Seven and a half inch pistons in there, intaker. And last but not least, number four, as an added bonus, the final poser you might encounter is the keyboard flexor. His mod of choice, of course, is his mom's iPad. Okay, in all seriousness, this guy is a fella that pretends to have a nice high-end car or cars and allegedly lives a lavish lifestyle, running his cars around the world. You'll notice he steals pictures from others' Instagrams and tries to school you in the comment sections of wherever you may be with his vast knowledge that he's gathered from the depths of Reddit car threads. Please, if you encounter one of these guys, disengage and or troll them back if you want to. Alrighty guys, let me know in the comment section below what other posers that you've encountered in person or on the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.